Hello, my name is Scott for SB Gaming. We're back here in Betrayer, and where we left off last, we got into a battle. We died. The Maiden in Red is utterly useless. She wants us to find her sister. Maybe after we find her sister, she'll help us. But uh, we have cleared out everything in Fort Henry. We cannot leave through the south gate until we find a way to remove that corruption. These totems also have that corruption floating around them. So it's entirely possible if we can deal with that and possibly by talking to the race and dealing with the shadows that are around, we'll be able to figure things out. This is the map of the new world. This is the coastal path. This is where we landed, came up to Fort Henry and we can go between the two. And so there's going to be other areas in here where we'll be able to explore. But uh, right now we have to, of course, enter the other world. And we have, is this a wraith? William Eastgrove. Do you recognize this topaz necklace? It is Martha's. I gave it to her after our son was born. I found it near the remains of a woman who had been shot. Now I remember. I found her on a hillside to the south on a warm and pleasant morning. I sat beside her holding her hand and talking about our son as she died. It was you who buried her? Yes, I thought she would rest better there than near the fort so i covered her over with stones i meant to return to dig her a proper grave but someone stole our only spade and a trowel would not suffice all right so did we take care of his uh his wife and one thing with the other world is that the enemies here and in particular, the <laughs> the land is a uh, there's not as much visibility. There are different creatures here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the race and shadow. So what I'm probably going to do where's the other wraith? Other wraith is up here. Let's head north first. So I'm going to want to go this way. Yep. <sighs> oh, this is really creepy. That's a skeleton. One of the new enemies here. Oh. That in the distance looks like the wraith that we're looking for. And from what I understand, yeah, the skeletons can pop out of the ground from anywhere. Oh, seriously? Do I have to deal with a skeleton?
Nice. All right. What do you have for me? I have lost my way in this darkness. The sound of the bell will lead you home. All right, so I've taken care of that. And... So is that it? What I'm going to do, I might as well fast travel, but I'm going to check out the, that uh, totem over there. Roughly in this direction. Getting a little bit closer. Routed in corruption. Oh crap. Oh! Uh. Common pistol. anyway let's get back to town hopefully I'm going in the right direction can I fast travel actually no I can't can I fast travel right now <laughs> yep so the uh the bow isn't so good with uh okay it looks like i can now fast travel <laughs> All right, let's uh, talk to this uh, wraith. Edmund Godam still hasn't returned from patrol. Where did you last see him? We met by chance near Dodd's Hill. It was nearly dark. He said he'd found a Spanish encampment and showed me where it was. Who are you? Gregory Ward. Do you recognize this reed flute? And uh, we got an achievement for lost souls. I remember thinking how sad it would be he here without Edmund's music. An Indian gave him that flute after hearing him play. I found it near the remains of a man who had been killed near the encampment. Then that's why he never came back. Alright. At this point, what I want to do is I want to drink from the barrel. And he wants nothing. All right. <laughs> All right, so he's no longer in this world I can see. So I am going to go to Dodds Hill. We're going to fast travel. Is that light? Now, right down at the end of this path.
How much further? Should be over here. Him and him, nice. <sighs> Down to eight arrows, nice. Eleven arrows. All right, where is this shadow? He's, is he going to be hostile? Shadow, I must report to the captain. Is this your flute? Then you must be Edmund Gotham. Yes, you have given me back my name. Gregory Ward said you showed him a Spanish encampment. I remember pointing through the brush to where the Spaniards were gathered around their fire. We counted two dozen men at least. I showed him the map I found lying in the grass. The wind must have carried away from the camp. He looked very grave when he saw it. I suddenly thought to ask him what he was doing so far from the fort. What did he say? That he always loved hearing me playing the flute. Found a crude map of the area around Fort Henry with place names in English and notations in Spanish suggesting it was drawn by an Englishman and modified by a Spaniard. Uh... No. The thief... The thief escaped? All right, um, about that. All right, so we have that marker still there. about that there is the one marker down there that could be Martha so what I'm going to do is go down to the south gate and then I can go off in this direction I got some longbow arrows. We are getting very close to the totem. The corruption is gone. It has been cleansed of corruption.
interesting. So we have off in this direction. Another shadow. Shadow, where is John? Who is John? My son. Where did you see him last? My husband, carrying him through the gate. I was so relieved to see them so happy. Who are you? I don't re know. I can't remember. This topaz necklace is yours? Yes. Then you are Martha Eastgrove. I remember now. You have given me back my name. What happened to you? I remember staring at the barrel of a pistol, fearful but strangely calm, and I began to pray. Found what was once a finely made and likely expensive pistol, now badly rusted and useless. All right, about that. So apparently still there. All right, I'm going to, anything else to deal with? No, I'm going to go back to Fort Henry. Now, let's talk to him. Gregory Ward. Edmund Godham found this map near the Spanish encampment. I remember now. We met by chance near Dodds Hill. It was nearly dark. He said he'd found a Spanish encampment and showed me where it was. Then he showed me the map. He said we must report to Captain Eastgrove. You were concerned about the map? Because I drew it. Why? I am a Catholic. Though I had to swear I wasn't to come here, my duty is to the Pope in Rome, not to a heretic king, and to my mum at home, who can live easier with those Spanish coins I gave her. Edmund Godham didn't return from patrol because of that map. I knew I couldn't let him come back to Fort Henry, or I'd be hung for sure, but it made me sad to think I'd never hear him playing that flute again. And that investigation has been complete. And let's talk to East Grove. We'll only miss Grove. Martha is anxious about your son. She was so desperate with worry, as was I. A group of us went into the woods to search for him. Then I heard Gregory Ward calling out to him and knew he was safe. She remembers you carrying him through the gate. I was telling him he mustn't play outside by himself, for there are many dangers in these woods. I told him he must never make his mother worry. Do you recognize this pistol? I remember taking it from my son's hand, pulling open his fingers when he refused to let go, telling him he must never use it without my permission. I found your pistol near Martha's remains. It was missing when I awoke. I was panicked. I ran outside and shouted for the sentry. He had just come on duty, so I woke Gregory Ward to ask him what he had seen during his watch. What did he say? I can't remember. All right. So. These are still showing up on the map. They are shadows. Those two are wraiths. The corruption from this one got uh, cleansed. <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> it could be the enemies in the area. I, you actually have to kill them. But uh, yeah, about that. What if we were to go back to the south gate? about that um at this point hmm
let's return back to Fort Henry. And I'm going to leave this creepy land. <laughs> let's uh, fill up our health. Refill our water skin. And now, do you have anything else to say? Made in red. I have learned the fate of a wraith. I have a gift for you. Uh, let's go with that. What did you learn? Gregory Ward killed Edmund Gonham so that he would not be exposed as a Catholic spy. To be a spy is to be a constant liar. One cannot be a liar and a servant of God. To say nothing of being a murderer as well. I have a gift for you. What is it? Um, this reed flute that belonged to Edmund Gotham, a necklace of gold and topaz that belonged to Martha Eastgrove, or the Spanish sea chart. Let's go with the necklace of gold and topaz. It is very beautiful. Why are you giving it to me? <laughs> because you are also very beautiful. It can be bartered. It didn't match my complexion. Change my mind, it's not a worthy gift. Can it be bartered? Do I want to give it barter? Because you are also very beautiful. You should keep it in case you meet a woman who is moved but such trite sentiments. That should be by such. Anyway, this reed flute that belonged to Edmund Gotham. Why are you giving it to me? I thought you might enjoy learning to play it. I shall practice dutifully, but only when you are out of earshot. The Spanish sea chart. Why are you giving it to me? An enemy sea chart is a rare prize for the crown. It'll come in handy if we manage to find a ship. That is a shrewd notion. I shall hold on to it. All right about that. So... If I go to the inventory, can can I even sell those things or <laughs> anyway we have two of these. I'm going to scrap one of them. I have 538 loot. And I am gonna come back here and longbow arrows. I have 10 currently. I'm going to pick up a few more. Short bow arrows, ammo in inventory 5. Explosives. Tomahawk, I can't carry. Health is increased by 5%. Become 4% harder to see. Nice. Musket powder horn. Accommodates 12 musket loads. Pistol powder flask accommodates 15 loads. Accommodates 20 longbow arrows. Hmm. I just might. 250. Yeah, sure. Let's uh, buy it. And now, do I have to buy up arrows? Yeah, I figure. Let's uh, buy another four arrows, and at this point, we're going to take a break here after having discovered the other world. I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to need to do to get past the south gate. There's still corruption there. We solved this. This is no longer corrupted. There is this and this. They're most likely still corrupted. I may have to just kill the enemies that are in the area, and then that... It's entirely possible I may have to wander around the other world, kill off everything that's there so that I unlock the south gate, but uh, I might actually return here. I don't know why the icon is showing there, but I will of course do that next time. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode of Betrayer. My name is Scott for SB Gaming, and as always, have a good day.